Hello, I'm Laura Jensen with Mayshine Preservation at our farm store, Jensen Reserve. Today I want to talk to you about the two trailers that I use on my farm. A trailer is probably one of the most important investments you'll make when it comes to your pigs and your livestock, so let me show you the two that I have and why they're so different and so very helpful. The first one that we're looking at is my little short trailer. This one is roughly probably 10 foot long. Uh, it's incredibly versatile, meaning that we can get anywhere with it with our little Kubota tractor or the truck or even my husband's SUV. So we use this to move pigs around on the farm. Say hello to Bad Luck. And, and Greg, if you would get a picture of him. I am in love with how massive he is. Side note, many people say that the Maishan is not going to be a viable meat pig. I want you to take a look at this boar and tell me how you cannot make this a viable meat pig. He is a beast. Van Luck is a heavy Illinois bred boar and he's on his way to bring up some Ibericos here shortly. Hopefully we'll have a video of that as well. But anyhow, I get distracted. Sorry about that. It's my nature with my pigs. So let's talk about this trailer again. We use it to move pigs from the front to the back. We use it to get in tight spaces where maybe we can't get my 16 foot trailer and my big truck. And then we love it because of the options that we have on the back here. So if you'll swing around, I'll talk to you about this and then we'll show you a little bit about it too. So sort boards, this is what we use to move pigs. I talk about them regularly. If you don't have something like this, get something like this. Make it, um, you can make it out of a, uh, actually a, a washing machine pan. We've been known to use that. You can get these at QC Supply. Shipping will be as much as the boards, but I've used these boards for the five years we've had pigs and they're holding up just fine. So sort boards, a really good thing to have. So over here. Okay, this trailer is fantastic because it has multiple ways to open and load and move pigs. The ramp on it is fantastic. It's really easy to lay down. This really helps the pigs be able to step up and into the trailer without us having to add a ramp like I do on my 16 foot trailer. And then the great thing about this door is it opens in two different ways. So you can slide, yeah, it hangs a lot. You can slide it open if you want to. I'm gonna close it back. Not that he's gonna make a run for it, but I wanna show you the rest of it. And then each side of this trailer has these rods in it. There you go. You can see that rod a little better. What this means is we can open the back of this trailer this way or we can open it that way. So when we were loading on Ban Luck this morning, we had the trailer kind of cocked into the gate. We were able to take that pin out, open it. So now we've created an alleyway with where we had backed and then using the back of the trailer. So this sucker is incredibly versatile. I love it for small things around the farm. I do not like it for the open road because it is open. I just don't think that's very safe for pigs. So that sums up the small trailer as far as the little black trailer as we call it. Now I'm going to move over to my stock trailer. Y'all come on over. Alright y'all, here I am by my old trusty 16 foot stock trailer. We originally bought this trailer for horses because that's why we bought this farm. Little did we know we'd end up being the pig nerds that we are today. So like I said, the, the name of the trailer, if you're trying to look for something on the market like it, is called a stock trailer. Uh, it's meant to haul pretty much whatever kind of stock you want and for me, if it fits, it ships. Uh, so I've hauled all kinds of things in here from tractors to furniture to you name it. So. 16 foot refers to the size of the box on the trailer. Uh, it has a couple of neat features that I want to share with you guys. If you'll come on over here, Greg, let's see if we can show you what it is with some of our feed in here. So in general, this is called an escape door. And not that you necessarily need it with pigs, but the way this trailer is made, this is incredibly helpful. So it's hard to see right now because we're working with a new bulk feed program. So yeah, I use the trailer for bulk feed. So if you can see over here, and I'll step in here. Okay, so what we do to correspond with our escape door is this actually is a, is a heavy gate, small grid here, so pigs can't fit through it. And it closes right here to the edge of this escape door. That's what this hinge is here. 
is where we actually lock that in. So where that's great is not only can we use this for a pig compartment, is I can load pigs back here and then I can come out through here if we're still backed up and I can't get out the back. So that's the escape door. That's the front nose section. Let's step to the back and I'll show you the great features there. So you'll be able to tell that I'm a huge fan of having more than one way to load a pig in. So this is the same idea as our little black trailer. This door is called a cattle door, meaning that you could load cattle through it. So we have the option of popping this up, pulling that to the side, and then you can load pigs through there. Where that can be incredibly ha uh, handy is if you're going to back up two trailers to push one pig onto another one, you can use that. Now it does open and do a full swing, so let me show you that too. So now we have the full six foot section roughly to load too. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily leave this door open when we close it. So that's what that would look like. Um, again, we're using this for feed storage right now. Uh, feed prices skyrocketed and I found a way to potentially save $1,000 a month on my feed plan by working with a local mill, so that's what I did. Now there is one more feature of this trailer. If you hang on, let me go grab it and I'll be right back. Okay, let's talk about this. This is actually a divider that came in the trailer originally. We did take it out so that it could be more versatile for those horses that we first had. So I can turn this trailer into a three compartment trailer pretty easy. You know, I've got the nose that I've talked about. If I put this in the middle section, hard to see, but roughly the middle of the trailer, you probably can't see it from the shadows. I can lock this gate in, and then I have a back section too. So where that helps in loading pigs is if you're trying to get multiple pigs in, and one goes in and one doesn't. And then the one that's on the trailer, one's off the trailer. If you have something like this to put on behind, that makes all the difference in being able to get them all where you want them to be. So I wanted to share my trailer specifically with you today, just trailer talk, so that you can figure out what works best for your situation and you can find the trailer that's right for you. So thank you for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you at the next video.